computer. Right, so good morning, everybody. I'm recording the thing. We already started uh, the lecture at five past eight. I was a bit delayed, and uh, I'm just recording for the purposes of the students that watch the recording. Sometimes it may work to my detriment there, too, because uh, in the comments, did you read, the students said uh, they'll find the lecture recording where I mention something critical or negative to the students. Don't ever use my recordings against me. Sometimes I talk in general, right? But very often I'm, I'm not like that. I'm a nice kind of guy. Overall, the, I'm human. So uh, the test, two sections, just for the benefit of the recording, I already went through that. Section A, Section B, Section A is multiple choice questions. This is all level one questions according to Bloom's taxonomy. Section B is uh, essay type, uh, long questions. 20, between 25 and 30 marks. Question one is compulsory. Question two is uh, the MC, the essay type, right? You, from uh, question two and three, you select one. Now, it's all dealing with HR issues, and you include that with the ERP system. You must remember this module is IT5A, IT5B, concludes with at the end of the section. You can't do IT5B without doing IT5A. So I can use examples, uh, the case study of Zambikes. So it'll be a good idea just to watch that Zambikes video again. I go to YouTube and you can watch that Zambikes video. Where's the Zambikes video? Uh, here's the Zambikes video. Just look for Zambikes. Z-A-M-B-I-K-E-S, Zambikes. Right, so th this is this is our case study. I should have been referring to this all the time. This is the company. They are not using a ERP system. This is just a company that ISIFA decided to use. So this is our case study. So if in your explanation in your essay, by all means, you you can refer to them. You can say Zambike sells ba bamboo bicycles. Uh, if they need to hire a, a chief information officer. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Or well, they need to hire a HR person. How do they go about doing it? Why would they want to use an ERP system uh, like SAP s hana They're not using SAP s hana This company is not that rich, or oh, to my knowledge, a couple of months ago, right? So this is Zambikes. And the reason I'm doing using Zambikes is because ISIFA, we are dealing with the ISIFA curriculum, right? The ISIFA curriculum, this is my curriculum. This is where I will take all my stuff from, ISIFA. So this is the course. This is this is my course material. This is the course material that I'm I'm going to be I I I use to teach this course. And again, I know it's I, I've spoken about this before. Let to let to see the let to, University of Cape Town. This is who we are affiliating to the the, the syllabus. If it's good enough for uh, UCT, it's good enough for DUT as well, right? So all our, uh, where's my, my courses? Eswahana. Right, so, so we've, done, we've done the business processes. We've done enterprise systems. We've done Eswahana navigation. And thanks to Sydney and Letu who were able to log in. And, and they are my favorites. That was one of the criticism as well. If the students do extra work for me, they help me with the logins. They're going to be favored. Uh, I, not that I look at them in any different light, right? Yeah, too. I didn't give you some marks for that. Sydney, I didn't give you there. Oh, now, now if I said the word favorites, they will take that and they'll edit it and they'll say, oh, I got favorites, but they don't hear the other part of the video. Uh, yeah. Right? We did procure to pay. Didn't we do that? We did accounting systems. We did uh, inventory management, right? Partly inside here, there's something about accounting services. There's production planning. Uh, there's a Zambikes video. So I just decided for purposes of our course. Oh, I'm still, I'm still right. I'm still here. So uh, the module descriptor I have to talk about. Uh, where's my module descriptor here? Let's go to desktop. IT5. my module descriptor this that's my bible or my what i have to teach, teach, teach you guys right so the module descriptor
in my module descriptor, it says that I have to teach you all about, there's, there's the module descriptor here, right? PGI, postgraduate internal auditing. Right, so my module descriptor spoke about, can you see this? This is, this is what tells me what I must teach you all, right? Can you see it says postgraduate diploma in internal auditing, internal auditing and taxation. One of the comments was, I don't know, I teach everything and anything. This is, can you see it says ERP systems? Did I teach you about ERP letter? Right. Did I teach you about, uh, we spoke about human capital management, asset management, cost accounting? There, right? So I, the moderator will look at this and say, yes, I did it. Right? There, didn't I? So I'm going to test you all about this. Can you see recruitment? So that's the exam question. The essay question is about recruitment. You want to recruit a particular individual for a particular task. Did we do some uh, practical examples of ERP tools later? We logged in, you did this first semester, right? Uh, and I also did audit command language. That was a practical, that was an, also a tool. Okay, what I what I didn't do a lot of was collaborative learning, I'll admit. Collaborative learning, discovery-based learning, cooperative learning. Hopefully this website group assignment would have done that with you all, right? Okay, Sydney, uh, please tell me you all cooperated with each other, you all collaborated with each other, you all did some discovery on the websites. Let you, please tell me you all did some things, right? Because that's what I'm supposed to be doing with you all, right? And can you see the tutorials is only worth 15%. Right, so I'm just up to it and I gave you twenty percent. I can play around with a few with, with in terms of percentage, not too much. I can. Is there a question? Hello. Is there a question? No. All right. So, uh, so that's that's the way I do it. Right, in terms of the lectures, the tutorials independent study I'm, I'm considering independent study and tutorials together right 25 i take an average 10 20 percent so that was the website story yes you are writing an exam so the exam mark is 60 percent. the test is 20 percent. so i'm going to take 40 percent test one 40 percent test two there are still about four people four or five people that i need to go and mark that by hand because later they didn't fill in the mcq card the assignment is 10% tutorial presentations. Oh yes, you are supposed to present your work, right? Uh, to my students. I did that with my other group. We got no time for that. Unless you want to present to me, you can do that by all means, right? Y'all can watch my students. I recorded it on YouTube. You can watch my students do a presentation. Uh, okay, right. Uh, right. Okay. See CQPA, that's where those module descriptors and MC, uh, whatever goes to. Right, so 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 I've covered myself. Eva, uh, I need to, to validate what I did and what I didn't do. So let's just go to the assignment. There's the assignment. This is what 20%, your website. So I'm not sure if these students are here. The first group, group one, are you here? Thank you for your work. Group one, no, they're not here. Are you online? Whenever students phone me and they ask me questions there too, no, sir, I attend all your lectures. I know what it is. I know da, 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 da. But as you get to talking to them, they never attend. They don't know what they're talking about, right? Satyanandan A, Herbans, Lukai, are you here? Let's have a look at her website. Now, the reason I did this was twofold. One, it's part of the module descriptor that I got to do practical work. I showed it to you, see ya? And it's worth 20%. So it's a free site to use Wix. I'm not sure if they have to pay for it after a while. Free of charge. Hopefully she learned something about ERP because you can use this. It's also part of your studying for the exam. Uh, yeah, this is this is nice to share with everyone uh, later too because she spoke about HR purpose, uh, HR. Right, so I'm going to share this in the chat. 
Let's go and share that in the chat. Stop sharing. Go to the chat. So if you check the chat, there's the first website that was done. So this is the collaborative learning, cooperative learning level, 15%. What the person, what the student did, I'm sharing with all of you. <coughs> that's it, that's one. So let's go and have a look at another one. By the way, the assignments are due today. Little today, the websites. Today, the websites are due. No, it's Thursday. Thursday. Ah, uh, but I don't have time to go and mark that. Huh? I have to look through that. So group two, there's group two over there. All right. Oh, this is why is, there's two group twos. Okay, so group three, group four, group five. Now, once you've done it, it'll look like this. This is how my students, my first years, did, did they work. I was sharing this with y'all. Right? So, this is my first year students. They use WordPress. Nobody ever complained to me that they have to pay anything or whatever. I don't know. Now I can use this next year to teach my students. They are, I'm teaching them machine learning and artificial intelligence, right? So I can share this site and uh, the, the, they were quite impressed with this. They said, if you want to learn anything, they're just going to type in uh, like AI and just search on the website. And there we go, it found it, right? Any word with AI in it. These are my students, Ntuli. And oh, they did it on the 20th of October. Oh, oh, it was due before that, right? Anyway, I gave them extension. That's okay. There's my students work, right? And they were quite impressed because they linked it to Facebook and WhatsApp. And these are first years. Uh, they get happy for all these small things, right? For them, it's not small, to, maybe to us. Let me just go and share. Let, and they put their pictures. And you can see some of the girls even put makeup and oh, they went to town. Right? Uh, there, there's, there's the student, uh, MB in Thule. There's another student, Madondo. There's another student. There's another student. I think this was taken outside here, but the there's the lift there. Okay. Oh no, it must be a Ritson campus. There's another student. By the way, can you see? Uh, not that I'm picking on it. This is the, just to let you know about photography. See, uh, maybe you know you take photographs. Can you see the photograph? This was there's Steve Biko library, but can you see he's wearing a cap and it may cast a shadow on him? You can't see his face. Sydney. No, Steve, not Steve Rico. Oh, Moses Mabira, Moses Mabira. There's that statue there at the back there. Doesn't that look like Moses Mabira? No. All right, doesn't matter. Anyway, can you see how we learn? There, can you see his, his shadow? He's the, he wears a hat, right? I, I've got an eye for photography. I like, it's like a hobby of mine. So I take notice of photographs. Not that I'm going to, uh, right? So these are my students. Well, I also wanted them to make a video. None of them made a video. I wanted them to make a video and uh, share it. And let's go to another site. This was uh, how I know these students put makeup and all of it because I see them in class without makeup. And <laughs> they really pushed up for this, for their photographs. All right. So... It was a fun exercise. We spent about three hours on Thursday moderating it, presenting it, and uh, I'll share that link video with you all too. Right, so they had to learn about AI. And uh, let me see the photos there. there. There's the student. The student, I'm putting it on, on record. It's recorded. Hardly attends classes. <laughs> Hardly attends Josephine right? Sobroyo. Hardly attends classes. Right. 
taking forever to uh, But to pose for the photograph, which is a nice, pretty photograph, let's see, there she, right? And that's Josephine, right? By the way, they put their, their cell phone numbers out there. Uh, and I told them, you don't have to put your official ones because I'm going to, it's going to be shared on the internet. So there's Josephine. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, Samuel. Samuel created a chatbot. He went to town. On his website, you can actually ask questions and it will uh, give you answers. Uh, there's, there's, this is Samuel. And, and that group of students, it's, it's human nature. If a student goes out of the way and they come for every lecture, they'll phone you. He, he doesn't become your favorite. Oh, no, no, Sherazan, no, another one student hardly comes. It's like, uh, one day when you're a parent, you'll know. You have three children. One child is always so nice to you. That you're like your favorite child. I mean. right, this is Sherazan. I know she put makeup and all of that me because this is not how she looks the class of lipstick and things. Right. This is uh, Ethan, Ethan Horn. Right. There's Ethan. So I, I learned something when you're taking a photograph, the, the person, the, the cap casts a shadow on their eyes. Right, let's go and see uh Little Trusha. There's Little Trusha. This is a selfie you can see. So I want to let you, if you can, put your pictures in there too. Y'all didn't do that. Then it keeps for posterity. I have all these sites and uh, uh, let's go to another website. Uh, this th this group, the, they didn't do much. They didn't do well because. You, you can't give it to me by Monday, Tuesday, yet, too, so that by Friday, Thursday, Friday, I can uh, sort things out. All right, so that if there's a problem, I can always... Oh, look at this. This this group of students put my photo. They thought they're getting extra marks. They took it from Facebook. I said, hey, no, man. Right? There's my students. So at least I won't for, forget them. I keep this, I keep these sites. This is Amshlanga Rocks, I think. It looks at the background. I'm not sure if, if I'm right. If the lighthouse was there, maybe I could see this. There's the students. Now, I was so impressed with my first years because they were uh, presenting on machine learning and talking about it as if it was a lecture. And what I noticed, all the students were using their cell phones except two or three. When I was in school, we used to have paper cards and you know, thumb cards. Now students come with a cell phone and they're standing in front of the need. What the world has become, huh? So I'll share this site with y'all. Y'all can learn about machine learning. Mm -hmm. So these are examples of what I like y'all to have. And I just I just find it fun. I've got 10%, 15% to play with. Y'all are IT. This is an IT course. Y'all are learning IT subjects. We did the certifications was over and above what y'all did, right? So Uh, if you want to see the the work, if you want to watch their video, it's their video is on YouTube. Doctor Alimi was the moderator, and uh, he was uh, impressed overall with them. But he gave them some nice critique, criticism. Crit criticism is not negative; it's it could also be positive, and spoke about that with them. Oh my goodness, 230 views. 230 views, look at that.
And this, the, the students are presenting, look at that 230 views, oh my word. Oh, I took a picture off. Let me show you this picture here. See this picture, the students that I'm pointing out to. Uh, he was in my class last year. Uh, where does President Zuma live? Somewhere in Kantla. He used to travel every Saturday, Letu. Every Saturday he used to travel. Uh, well, he also used to bring his daughter to come stay with her mother somewhere over here. But that was another issue. He used to, every Saturday he used to come. Uh, I mean, uh, he used to drive for two hours of uh, or whatever. Drive. And I, ne I never missed a lecture because of this one student. Let you. They, they ha I must find the article. They wrote an article about me. So why I'm telling you this, I got students that are full of praise of me, and you also get the negative as well. Anyway, let's go. Mm -hmm. and watch. Yeah. So in honor of him, I posted that, right? This is Dr. Alimi. He was he was sitting right here. Right. First time I got so hundred and one day ago, 230 right. views. Right. Group seven is on. I don't know why I sound nasally on the recording. Right. So they so they Right. So right. now look at the advantages now, of them. The advantages of them. They do. It's called ML stands for machine learning, right? They should have written the whole word. Oh, there's below that, right? I can share that with my students and they can learn about machine learning. And when I say I've vetted it, it's here's there's all the work. So if you want to learn about artificial intelligence, machine learning, you watch all my students presenting presenting this. Right. All right. So I'll share this. I don't need to share it. There's so many videos already. With your postgraduates, I'm supposed to do a presentation. You saw that for ten percent. But, but y'all are postgraduates. So I'm cool with it. Unless you want to present, we can meet next week, Saturday. I'll share this video link with you. Yeah. First time I got seven likes. Wow. In one day. Copy that. Let's go to the Zoom link. So if you want to listen to machine learning and how I'm supposed to do it. Uh, where's my chat here? Chat, chat, chat. All right, so that was the YouTube link for my students. And and don't overwork now. It's only worth 20%, right? Not only, it is 20%. And they'll definitely give you a mark, a good year mark. Uh, uh, let me give you a rule that goes with exams. Let's say something happens in the exam. You don't pass. And your course mark is above 60 so we are obligated to give you a supplementary. Uh, let's say your course mark was below 50. You, know, you, had, a, you had a 45 course mark and uh, you didn't do well in the exam. Uh, I can't use that rule because the rule was your course mark would have had to have been over 60, right? So that's why I always make sure that my students have a good course mark. Anything can happen in the exam. Anything. And you know, never know. But, and overall, if you have a 60% exam mark, a uh, course mark, and you, you need a minimum of 40% in the exam to pass overall. Right? That's another rule that goes with it. Okay? 
the rule is exam must be minimum of 60. I'm uh, sorry, 40, not necessarily 50, all right, to pass. Yes. So if you take, let's say you got a, and this is this is the bare minimum I'm talking Sydney, right? Not that y'all must go for bare minimum. So the student cannot pass the course overall if the exam mark is um, below 40. So let's say, for instance, you got a course mark of hundred percent, uh, eighty percent, but your exam mark was twenty percent. You just came and wrote your name and filled in one or two things. You can't pass because we got to set standards, the quality assurance, right? So you must have at least forty. That that's the okay. That's the extreme, but very seldom that happens. You must get 50. Yeah. No, no. We scare the students to tell them. Yeah. You must get 50. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right about that. But this rule kicks in. Uh, if you have, yeah. we don't really, we don't use a 40%, we use a 50%. That's true. But the, but there's a rule that kicks in where uh, if a student doesn't pass on uh, 50, we, we look at the course mark. You know, we're doing the moderation of the scripts and all of those things. Right? I shouldn't be telling you all that, but even 49, nobody gets a 49 at the UT, right? Because 49%, the it's automatically pushed up to 50, right? In fact, sometimes we, we leave a 48, the moderator, I shouldn't be telling you this. And later I'm actually recording this now. You know, those naughty students of mine that say, go listen to the recording and you'll see what he said. Right, I'm prepared to put my life on that. We don't leave a 48. I can put a 48 as an examiner. And I send it to the moderator. The moderator say, no, look for two more marks, two more percent, right? So um, it becomes a problem if your exam paper is out of 50 and each mark is worth two marks, right? So if a person gets 48 out of 50, it's 96%. So you got to look for 4% basically, right? And a person that gets between the low marks then it's tough to go and look inside the exam paper for marks also we don't ever leave a person on 44 right i shouldn't be telling you this uh, it's in the recording why because we push it to a 45 so that they get a signature. also we never ever leave a person on a 39 the moderator right these are all the hidden rules sydney we push it to a 40 right <coughs> Also, we never ever leave a person on a 74% overall. We push it to a 75. Okay. I can tell you all that now. You're a postgraduate, you're exit level course. This you're not going to see next year. I mean, for postgraduate, for masters. Right. Okay. Any questions? Oh, my, my students are on the. Where's my students? Look at this 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 video of mine. Uh, only only fifty five views, but with this, I had two hundred thirty views, and one day ago. Anybody on the on uh, the question out there? Anyone question? Oh, let them see all our students here. They, 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 they. Ta -da. Put this on the side, huh? Then they can see these students. They let you. Uh, ta da ta da ta da ta da. Come on. Anybody with a question? Except what's come out in the exam. I don't give out the exam breakdown. <laughs> the memorandum on the website. What do you mean, memorandum? No, not a memorandum. No, no. That's that's for me for how I'm gonna mark it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, I have to give you a rubric. Right, rubric. Oh, good, good point there, right? On the website thing. You, let's let's just go to the website assignment. And when you are recording this meeting, okay, let's go to um where does it say website assignment? Mm. Desktop. Uh, 
uh, I know what you're talking about now. This this is just for me, right? Because I got to keep this. This is as proof to the moderator. You must remember uh, test one, test two. I got to keep the question paper and the moderator the uh, memo uh, because this is part of the course mark. This is will also be called up by the moderator. How did I? Why did I stipulate this is the mark? So this is the assignment. And uh, these are the the topics. And at the end, can you see, I, I even mentioned you can use basics of analytics. And these are the topics that I said you can use, right? Wait says memorandum. Memorandum is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look for, uh, did the student choose an interesting topic? H you're all going to choose HR. You're all going to choose uh, ERP concepts, right? You're not going to choose, except for CR, who's a business lead, but he said he's going to do something. So if I had to go strictly by this memorandum of CR, I can't say that you chose a topic that's relevant to the website, right? Because yours is a business. You understand the memo now. Uh, content creation. Do you have engaging content? Is it appropriate for the topic? Are there a variety of multimedia elements? So let's say, for instance, I give you 60% and you say, sir, but why did you give me 60%? Then I'd say, do you have a multimedia element in there? Right? Like a video. No, no video. Then that's how I can, I can. I'm safeguarding myself before the SEQs and LEQs came out later, you see. Right? Okay, Sydney. Let's go for another one. Website development. Did you use HTML, JavaScript? None of y'all would, would have done that. Y'all are not IT students. Right? My IT students would have done it. I use a similar memorandum. They use JavaScript. They use yeah, HTML. Sorry? It's right. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. You won't. You won't. Right? Right? But but I'm... I'm you're not. Did you test it? Did you test uh, all the sites, right? Uh, all the links on your site. Did you deploy it on a free... All of y'all will get that 20 marks. Three points, right? Okay, Letty. Y'all won't get the HTML and the CSS story, right? Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, goody. Right. So uh, I didn't share this. Uh, this is what I, I shared this with you all this uh, website assignment. Right. So if I had to look at, uh, let's say if I look at uh, the first student, right? The one that posted. So you can see they didn't use multimedia. Right. So if I look at this student now, can you see they didn't use multimedia? Multi means many types of media, right? She doesn't have a video in there. And you see, she's, she's got, she just copied these images from another student. That's another website. In fact, you can't do that. You got to get permission and whatever you right? Right. These are just. I. 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 I don't. I don't even think this will work. Let me see. Oh yeah, good. It works. Oh no, no. There we go. The service is not available. So can you see here too? If I had to mark this work strictly according to the memorandum, the link doesn't work. Do you understand how the memo works now? Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, can you see? Can you see this? This person actually just copied it. Not much thought is done in this. Right? They just they just took a template and they copied and pasted. Yeah. Now something like this is worth just a pass mark. Right, Leto? You agree with me, a pass mark. Now they will phone and Andrea. In fact, I must phone and ask her. Right, Mona. Right, I'll ask him. A and D. And uh, Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Oh, you know when they put other names uh, on that uh, on the WhatsApp, then he doesn't show. A and D. A and D. Yeah. Oh, 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 let me go for the other one. Look, look, hey, I'll catch you yeah, paying attention, right?
Okay. But now you understand why I can't give the, the good marks with this one, right? If I test this, can you see they, they, they've got these links here? These links don't work. Right? She, she just used a template and I can, I know they spent about three or four hours working on this. Not much time. So a person like this doesn't deserve 80%. Right, Leto? <laughs> I'm recording it now. Take me to take me to the clear. Take me to the CQPA. Now, a person like this letter would also write a bad comment about me, right? Right, right, letter. Think about it. But I'm 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 supposed to uh, mark their work and judge it, right? Right. Can you see this? This link doesn't work. They use a template, and and they didn't. Let's go for HR training. Yeah. Look at this. They talk in US dollars. Again, they took a template. They didn't even edit it. Right? Now, I can't give them good marks today. Right? Right or wrong? You tell me. You can't. There we go. Sydney, what do you agree with that? This person didn't take much consideration, even though it's worth 20%. Right, Sydney? Yeah. But if you take my first years, right? My first years. Let's take a student that did... Uh, Let's let's go to this one here, right? The student. The student did the same thing on WordPress. MI, ML Tutor. Hello World is a programming uh, first time, first program you do, do Hello World, right? Now you, you compare their work to this student's work, right? So this, this group of students want to be e-tutors, machine learning tutors. So they are selling a product, right, Sia? They're selling tuition services. So if you want to learn to become a uh, learn, you can join their group and you can uh, go and where's the menu? They told me there's the menu and there's the contact us. Right? Join a class today, learn a material. Let's click on join a class. There's the work, join a class. Expert tutors. Curriculum. Now, Sydney, look at the Sydney. They got 800 rands. So immediately you're looking at it. This is a South African website because it's in rands. You saw the previous students, they left the dollars there. Right, Leto? Right? 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 Now, the DUT faculty of accounting and informatics, we have to start with e-tutors. I'm going to take this work and I'm going to show the dean and I say, yes, I'm starting with e-tutors. This is what, there's my point. Aha! What? All righty. So this is the document that you must share your work on. Oh, and you have to ask for to be editors, right? So that not everybody, maybe a group leader will, will submit their work. Right, so uh, Leto, this is your email, huh, Leto. Right. Uh, Keisha1607, Bongi, Andrea, Andrea, right, Andrea is the one that did it. So Leto, you can post on the group, Andrea, tell her to, if you want, she can update, edit. Sort out all those mistakes. Andrea never came to class, by the way. And it's on record. Maybe it is her uh, lecture that said that they want she wants a new lecture. <laughs> How can someone write that letter? Huh? How can someone say they mustn't teach this course next year? <laughs> never mind. Get. So I'm going to share this link in the chat. If y'all can give it to me by Monday, Tuesday, then I can look at it. And uh, I'll and, and I I'll, I'll give you I'll start with the forty percent definitely 40, 45, 50 percent right like Andrea you can't get a distinction I can tell you that for that uh... and is Andrea in the class I don't think so. Oh, 10 past nine. Can we call it a day? I said I'm not going to be a... Y'all can work on your project together, a website. 
There's your group work, collaborative learning, independent learning. And it's in the guide. It's in the guide. It's in the guide. Oops, that's not what I want to show you. It's in the guide. I'm allowed to do that. Right? I'm allowed to give you an independent study. Right, Letu? And I never missed a single Saturday, Letu. I just want you all to know that. And it's on record. Sydney, you missed Saturday, so Sydney. <laughs> but right or wrong, didn't you miss Saturdays? Right, but I never missed a Saturday. Right? So I'm allowed to give you all independent study. They are 10% independent study. And yet to just for the record, we are supposed to be face to face. Even Dr. Modley, even though he applied, got permission and whatever, I didn't get to, I didn't ask permission because I said I'm meeting on the Saturday, right? Uh, Dr. Modley and said that they want to do it hybrid mode, uh, uh, online. I said, no, I'm meeting on the Saturday. Uh, even though I'm e-learning coordinator and all of that faculty rep, I like the face-to-face. -face. Last week, Saturday, I missed you. I let you. I missed him. But one of the students said, why must they travel all the way from to Durban for that? Okay. Anybody with a question? Anybody? I hope I answered the question. And I hope whoever wrote those comments are feeling guilty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's been mm -hmm. given. Someone to show up, mom. Where my maid? I know. I don't mind. I'll put it on. Right. Uh, right. Class, when I say that y'all wrote down, whoever wrote down that there's information overload, y'all are postgraduate students. I felt I didn't do enough with you. I should have done more. Ah, Letu? I should have overloaded you. Don't you think, uh, Letu? Right? Proper guidelines for assessment. How much more must I guide y'all with the website assessment? Test one, test two. If y'all fail the test one, test two, I can understand. I didn't guide y'all enough. Right? Must focus on the content of the module and stop making us do these certificates. The certificates are so important, Sydney. I felt y'all are doing work that is so current, the CPE, Continuing Professional uh, Education. Uh, teaching, lecturing, give examples. That's where I teach. I teach with examples. The Zambike is an example of a case study. The lecturer must clearly state the module requirements. Sure, clear. I showed you all the module description. That's for me. They're not attending. Yes. Huh? The certificates contribute 10%. <laughs> I, I know, but no, no, it doesn't go to my heart. Well, yeah, okay, do. but what happens is you see, <laughs> these things here, there too, they are public, they are sent to the head of department, right? Uh, Professor Naika, and he reads it. And it also goes to Fatima Razak, the quality control person, right? You saw, uh, and I'm not, I'm joking. Can you see everything I do is by CQPA? Right there's at the bottom of the thingy, it says, can you see this in here? CQPA, Center for Quality Proposed Promotions or whatever. So this person says, hey, they look at it and they read it and say, why are the students writing like that? What What is it? Exactly. Now, now that's when my head of department said, he said, you know what? Don't worry about it because only 11 people uh, filled it in. Right? Yes, but now, now you know what? Y'all are at fault now, a little, because y'all made the average low. Y'all don't fill in the SEQs. Too late now. It's uh, the it's it's you can't fill it in, right? Right? Can you see? It says over here how many? Oh, eight responses. Look at the eight. Only eight out of sixty-three of y'all. So, 
those eight people wrote negative comments, it uh, kind of says a, uh, it brings the averages down. I mean, all it takes is one or two people to cause it for me, right? Uh, I'll just show you the other one. That was that one there. Sorry to bring it up again, but uh, my if anybody knows me, they'll. Right, so this one here, I shared this with Leto. Uh, three, look at here, three people filled it filled this in, right? Three people filled it in. That's why my head of department said, don't worry about it. He says, uh, the students are just being vindictive. Mm, what he wrote? See, three people. So when these things come, you almost fill these things in. Right. Uh, what do they write here? Nothing here. But that, uh, uh, right, three of them said something. And you see the graph, it must be all strongly agree, right? And where there's a red, they call me, they'll call me, explain to her. I must explain. By the way, I must explain when even y'all get, uh, when they get 100% pass rate. No lie. No lie. Right? I'm suddenly happy that I don't get 100% because then you called up. That means your paper was too easy. What's the story? Be that up. I, I get called up if, if my pass rate is below 60. Right? And there's some lectures that enjoy that. Weird. Oh, I'm going off topic now. Right? So if there's anything else you want to... Yes. Not me. You must add it. You must add it. You You do that. I don't add it to, to that. You go to the link, yeah, just. Yeah, you must ask for permission and I will give it to you, right? Right, so you 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 okay. send me a link on uh, Gmail. So this is how it okay. comes. Yes, you have a question. Okay. Oh. So. If you ask for a uh, see it, see this girl, this girl, right? Look, hi, right? She asked for permission, so she asked for permission, and I give her the link. I'll give her. I'll say, see, she's requesting access to the following website, it five B. I comes to my Gmail account, then I then I give them access. All right, and it's it's just the first group member. So then if anybody goes and interferes with the websites, I know who go, who are the ones who are editors, right? That's, that's, uh, secure, it's a security thing. Too. Right, so by Monday, Tuesday, later, uh, later, is that okay, Sydney? Monday, Tuesday, you know what to do, the 20%. Both tests were very good, excellent marks. I can, and I can also use this to uh, boost the mark as such, right? And, now, uh, I'd, I'd like a hard copy as well, because some of you are told me that the website is going to use. What you can do is you can, I'll give you a link to upload the PDF document, right? Dropbox. No, you send that here and, uh, and you give it to me on Dropbox, right? Dropbox. I'll, I'll... Yes. No, and just give me the link, right? And then, uh, and and don't go and write just just the print out of what the website is right. Oh, well, let me see if I can do it in uh, Google. I can do it so we keep everything in Google. What do you say? Yeah, I think that's what this one. Um, new. Folder, no, no, not folder, upload. Or if there's 10 of y'all, y'all can send me email to, right? If y'all want to. A new... IT5B... 
PDFs. Web site ASSE SS community, right? Okay. Someone's on. Uh, is it okay if I share this link with y'all uh, later to post right? So what I'll do is I'll say no restrictions. Anyone with the link? Copy. So later, just test this link. Let us see if you can just upload something for me, please, quickly. Well, later I submitted it later. All right. Can we can we call it a day? It's 25 past nine. I told the wife, don't worry, I'll be early. So one hour I'll be. It was nice coming on a Saturday too. At least I leave the uh, home. Let her do all the housework and look after the children. Mm. Right. So online people, if there's no questions, we're calling it a day. Okay, bye everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Say goodbye to everybody, all the people. Send me this. Let's just say goodbye to them. Bye, guys.